Hi, this is Kyle Bennett with Inside VR. Today we're going to be taking a look at all the equipment that makes up the HTC Vive VR system and what we call HTC Vive 101. So once you get your HTC Vive out of the box, this is all the hardware you're going to be dealing with. Uh, don't let it overwhelm you. It looks like there's a lot to do here, but really once you get it set up, it's really pretty simple to deal with. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through every part and piece here, explain to you really quickly what it's for and how you need to set it up. This is your HTC Vive head mounted display. You commonly hear, hear it referred to as HMD. So you see these sensors here for tracking. Also has a front facing camera down here on the bottom. You have these elastic straps which fit it to your head. These are adjustable as well. You see your attachment cable here, which is the original ribbon cable style. This is obviously a little bit too short. We're using this for another project so that your cable on your one out of the box will be about 18 feet long. You flip this over and you can see your two Fresnel lenses in here and you have these adjustable face pads. The Vive comes with two, this is not a stock one. So you'll also find a little adjustment knob here on the side, which is extremely interesting as well. This, uh, this uh, adjusts for your pupillary distance, which is the distance between your eyes. So you wanna make sure and get that dialed in too, and that will give you a much better experience if you go back and make sure you have your pupillary distance set properly. You can go to any eyeglass site on the web and then give you a tool for how to measure that. So to show you this about the uh, HTC Vive HND, I put the OE face cushion back on. You can see the cutaways here in case you need to wear eyeglasses. So what this is used in relation to, so you see here, you've got these two small hash marks on the HMD itself. And if you click these knobs out on both sides, it'll allow you to actuate and move the, the screen, the Fresnel lenses, closer or further to your face. So if you're wearing glasses, it gives you a little bit of buffer room in there for your, uh, for your eyeglasses. The Vive also comes with a set of earbuds that these simply plug in to the back of the HMD, and then you can use these as well. A lot of people find uh, that these are a tad bit uncomfortable and like to replace them with a good set of, of uh, headphones. As I mentioned, this is the original Vive cable here, which see it's a flatter ribbon type cable. If you buy a Vive new today, you will get this three in one cable. It's a lot easier to deal with and it works a lot better if you're, especially if you're using this in a room scale and moving around the room. Uh, you can purchase those today, the three in one cable, or if you purchase a Vive new today, it will come with the three in one cable. So one of the most exciting things about the HTC Vive is its controllers, which you can see here. They have pads on the back, which are touch sensitive. You can move around those in some games. You have your on and off switch here, your menu switches here, and here you see the sensors that your uh, light towers pick up while you're using. So they have triggers on the bottom as well, which uh, make it great for shooter games. The other thing you'll notice about the buttons on the HTC Vive controllers are these grip buttons here on the side. So when you squeeze your hand together, it actuates these, which these are great for uh, VR shooter games where you're unholstering or holstering weapons. Also, the uh, touchpad, as I mentioned earlier, is clickable as well. So these are obviously wireless controllers, and you'll see that being HTC has included uh, chargers for each of these, which are very much like a phone charger, which just has a mini USB on the end, and you can simply plug these in when you're not using to charge. So this is the HTC Vive link box. And this is the piece of hardware that sets in between your HMD and actually sets in between your computer and your video card. So you'll notice on this side it says VR, on this side it says PC. It's very, very simple. So to plug in our HMD, we simply take the HMDI, plug that in, USB, plug that in, our DC power, plug that in. Now that is all it takes to attach our head mounted device to our link box. Now coming back over here, we have HDMI, mini display port, USB, and power in. So power in will come from your wall, 120, be plugged in. 
HDC also provides you with a USB port or USB cable. We'll plug that in. They also provide an HDMI cable. We'll plug that in. Okay, so now we have all the, all the uh, cables we need on that side of the link box. So when it comes back over here, and this is only really uh, the confusing part that some people don't understand. So you have your HDMI coming from your link box, which needs to go back into your HDMI out of your video card on your PC. Also, your, of course, we'll plug in your USB into your computer as well. We do suggest using a USB 3.1 port for faster data rates. Now, the one thing we did skip here, let's go back over this, is this port. If you do not have an available HDMI port on your card, on your video card, if you're using it for something else, the mini display port can also be used to hook back into the display port on your video card. So it is going to be necessary for your video card to have an HDMI or a display port available for it uh, to be able to power the HTC Vive HMD. And last we have our HTC Vive base stations. So these uh, little boxes, what they do is they track the motion of your HMD and they also track the motion of your controllers while you're using it in room space setup. So these are attached uh, to these 120 volt power converters. These simply plug into the back and that's all that happens there. That's the only wires that need to be attached to these base stations, which that's one of the upsides of the HTC Vive is it's nearly wireless configuration. So let me get these out of the way here for a moment. So you'll see the box here. You wanna try to keep your hands off the front of these because you don't wanna scratch this up. What you have in here are actually two laser systems that scan uh, horizontally and vertically. And a lot of people refer to these as light towers. Um, so when you place these, you wanna place them in your room uh, kind of at a diagonal in your space and where you're gonna be moving about. And actually the HTC Vive setup guide is really, really good about this. Uh, telling you where these need to go. And then of course, uh, Steam setup will help you uh, set up your whole room space system. So the interesting thing about these, so they have these mounts on back. You can see these here, they screw in. You get a few threads on them. Then you can tighten up that wing nut and make sure they're solid. Now I'm gonna show you in a minute how these mount to the wall. Now we suggest mounting these to the wall but if you're in a situation where you want to keep your HTC Vive portable, say you want to take it over to a buddy's house and set it up in his garage, you can easily do that. They also have mounting holes in the bottom. So this mounting hole is a regular thread that you would find on any tripod or a light tower. Use a, for commercial lighting systems or home lighting systems. So you can set this up to where it's actually used on the light tower or we can show you how it's going to be mounted on the wall. So this is our mounting on the wall here. We've used the mounting kit that came. These are actually a little bit different screws. The screws that come with the kit are black, so they look a lot nicer. So here is our, uh, our mount as it holds into the tower. And you simply put this on, thread it in there. Now as to the wall, you can leave it loose a little bit at this point because you want to be able to move it around so you can get the, the base stations aimed at each other properly. Once you do, you can tighten it down. That way you don't get any vibration. Plug in your DC and run it down to your uh, wall outlet and you're all set to go there. I hope we've helped you understand a little more about the HTC Vive VR system. And hopefully you understand there's not really anything to be intimidated about all the parts and pieces. They go together very easily. The instructions in the, in the box are very clear as well. Now we have been aware of people who have brought these back to the store when they've had tracking issues, especially in room scale. And these are a couple of things that lead to those issues. If you have set up your room scale environment in a place that has a lot of windows or reflective surfaces, these can cause issues with your tracking. So the first thing you're going to want to do is cover any uh, windows you may have in your environment, close the curtains, hang a sheet in front of them. And also another thing is if you have a large screen TV in your living room or office or out in the garage, wherever you happen to have your Vive set up, this can become a big issue and can cause a lot, a lot of problems with tracking. So any big reflective surface, you're going to want to cover up. The other thing about your light towers, I highly suggest you use the wall mount. 
Uh, obviously, if you want to keep your Vive system mobile and be able to move it around, you're going to want to use actual light tower mounts or tripods, which you'll use the bottom mount in. And that's okay. Sometimes, depending how you have that set up and any kind of vibrations, because remember, you have two spinning motors in here that are actually moving the, uh, the lasers for tracking. So that can cause some vibration and that can cause some problems with tracking as well. So make sure you have your tripod legs extended properly and isolate as much vibration as possible. I still, like I said, I highly suggest using the wall mounts. It makes everything so much more easy. Uh, if you are using a tripod or light towers for your Vive system, I also highly suggest you get a small piece of monofilament uh, fishing line or such and a, a small eye bolt from the hardware store and anchor them to the wall because people have a tendency to knock these over when they get excited inside these VR games. Uh, so keeping one of these from hitting the floor is what you should be uh, looking out for in that, sort of, uh, in that sort of arrangement. This is Kyle Bennett with Inside VR. Thanks for spending time with us today and uh, have fun with those HTC Vive setups.